Hi, my name is Daniel McKinley, and today I'm at Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and I'm going to show you how to play the two to four fascinate two to four player fascinating game, The Mind. Hey, listen. The way you play The Mind is you will have to complete a series of levels. And each one of these levels tells you also how many cards you start with. You're always going to start with level 1, but you might go up to 8, 10, or even 12 for the levels, depending on the number of players. So in this example, I'm going to start at level 1. The goal of each round and each level is to simply play your cards in order. These cards have the numbers 1 through 100, and there are no repeats. So, in this example, if I was playing a two-player game, I would have one card, the other player would have the other, and we simply just make body language, or without gesturing or sign signifying or signaling how, what our quantity is, we have to somehow know between us when do we play the card. It's kind of a, a logic puzzle in a way where you can't speak. Since the main game is you cannot communicate, this player would just have to know when to play the 49 versus the 51. If players have played all their cards in sequence, at least mostly right, right without their lives running out, then they continue on to the next level. Level 2 would be almost played the same way, except all the cards would get shuffled up, and we'd each get two cards. For example, one player would have this hand, one would have this. I obviously wouldn't be seeing both. But if this player was playing first, they might play 34, then 36, when this player would play 68, then 73. If a card is played out of order, and it would not go in sequence, then you lose one life point. If players lose all their life points, the game ends immediately. And there are also some ninja stars, shuriken, that you can use to gain a little bit of benefit. For example, if let's say, both players had three cards, and they're not sure when they should be playing, they can all agree to play a shuriken by discarding it, and the players would also discard their lowest numbered card. So this player would discard their 18, I would discard my 17, and that would tell us a little bit more information about what we have in our hands. But still, the game continues until all cards have been played. And that's how you play the bind. Now I've heard some reviewers of people who love this activity and some that don't like it. I say try it out. Try it out with your game group and if they enjoy it, you should definitely pick up a copy because it'll be laughs and laughs every time you play it. So if you'd like to try it, come by Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico where you can play The Mind. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on Is it card or What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG